Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to install WordPress. WordPress is a free open source software that allows you to create blog-based websites. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install it the traditional way. Some web servers out there actually have the option, it's like a one-click option to install WordPress onto your server but other um, servers don't have that option. And so this way, I'll show you how to install it the old fashioned way, basically. So here we are at wordpress.org, and this is where you find the software to download it. So you go to that website and you'll see a button right here. You can't miss it, download WordPress. So just go ahead and click that and you'll be brought to the download page and just down, um, click that button one more time to actually download it. So once it's downloaded onto your computer, you're going to go to your web server. Now, if you don't have any web space or anything like that, you can find some on the link I have provided on the bottom of this um, video. So you can go ahead and go to that link and check out the available packages there and maybe there'll be something there for you. But anyway, here we are on my administrative panel for my web server. And so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and find something that looks like MySQL administration located right here. Because the next thing we need to do is create a database to install WordPress on. So just go ahead and click that button. And now find a button on this page that looks something like new database. Again, it'll vary depending on what um, service you're using, but we'll just click that. And now you can enter a description for your database and a password. So for this tutorial, I'm actually going to be creating a website for a friend and her um, site is a jewelry website. So we'll just name the description of this database to be Trisha's Trinkets, which is gonna be the website name, but it can be anything you want for the description, just as long as it's something descriptive that you will remember. And for the password, Make sure you remember the password because this is gonna come into play here in a few moments when we set up WordPress for the database. So enter your password and then just click setup. And then go to overview. And there you go. This might take a few minutes for your database to get set up, but we've created it and it's now in the process of getting started here. Now the next step is we have to rename a file that we just downloaded. I'm in my folder, um, the WordPress folder that I just downloaded a few moments ago. And I'm going to go ahead and double click here on this file right here to rename it to get rid of this dash sample at the end of it. So I'm simply just going to go ahead and delete it like that and hit enter. And then we're good to go there. Now, this is probably the trickiest part. We need to open this file that we just renamed in a text editor or an HTML editor, and we need to put our database information in it. So I'm going to double click on it. Um, I'm actually opening this up in Dreamweaver, but you can do it in any sort of basic text editor. So here we are. This is what it looks like. You'll see right here um, that we have some red text here where it says define all these sort of things. This is where we need to put in the information for our database. So where do you get that information? Well, we go back to the um, administrative panel on our web host. And right here, you can see my database settings. I just went and clicked edit next to my database to get to this information. You have the database name, host, username, and then the password that you put in you also have to put that in to here as well. So let's go ahead now and put in this information. So first you have database name. That would be right here. So you can simply just highlight that and copy it and then come back to your text editor and put that in and just hit paste. And same with the username. Just go ahead, find your username here, copy it back and then just paste that. For your password, you put in the same password you use to create your database. And then for the local host, you simply just copy the host name 
into that field right there. Once you've finished putting all the information of your database into that configuration file, it's time to upload all of the WordPress files to your web server. So go ahead and get an FTP program and connect to your uh, web space, you know, with the FTP software and create a new directory for your website. So as you can see right here, I have a new folder on my web space specifically for this website. Now I'm going to come over here to my um, WordPress folder where I down, you know, all the downloaded files and the configuration file I just did. I'm going to highlight all of those files and I'm going to drag them over and upload them to my server. So I'll let that go through here. Okay, all your files are now uploaded to your web server. You're doing great, just one more step. We need to open up your web browser and we need to point the URL to the directory you just created. So let's say in this case, you have a, like a domain. That's what I have. I pointed my um, directory to trishistrinkets.com. So I'm going to put that in. Now you need to access a certain file on that directory. So I'm going to put in wp-admin slash install.php. So remember your directory, whatever that is, in my case, it's my domain name slash this and all of that right there, wp-admin slash install. So once you do that, you hit enter. And now you're gonna go ahead and put in your blog title and your email. So I'm just gonna put Trisha's Trinkets. Then you'd put in your email and then you just click install WordPress. And there you go. You have now successfully installed WordPress. It'll give you a username to log into and a, um, a random password. Now make sure you either write this password down or you change it. I would recommend changing it to something that you will be familiar with. And I will cover that in a future tutorial. But you can just copy that. Remember your new username is admin and you just click login. And then you can go ahead and log into your new website. And to always log in, it's going to be your directory, in this case, my domain, slash wp-login. You can always access your login by going to that address. So anyway, I will have more tutorials coming up on how to set up your website and how to do, as I said, change your password and a bunch of different stuff. So stay tuned, there's more coming soon.